And now let's return once again to the medical letter. As Danielle Elias found out, it can be the most important thing in a physician's inbox. We're here in a major medical center in New York City where doctors put their knowledge to use from the medical letter each and every day. Can you go, ah, uh, for me? Uh. Great. The drug that your other doctor had um, asked you to be on is actually one of the newer medications on the market. And I think that's actually a really good choice based on my own understanding from reading the medical letter. A good choice for this patient and for her doctor who has done her due diligence by reading up on drug interactions. That is the right medication for you and we'll make sure you don't have any other problems with what else you're getting. Dr. Monica Shaw specializes in infectious disease, but as an internist, she has to stay current with many more drugs and treatments, and because of that, she relies on the medical letter. It's quick, it's not biased, it's framed in the context of knowing not only the new therapy that's on the market that they're talking about in a particular issue, but the other drugs that are similar in that class. Um, and the evidence behind it. Dr. Shaw says she's been reading the medical letter since her residency. Years later, she still reads it regularly and now passes the knowledge she's gained from the publication onto her colleagues as well as other doctors in training. There's so much information at one's fingertips that you can acquire, all of which I do, but to actually really get a concise, quick, in-depth snapshot of either a drug or um, a group of drugs in the context of a particular disease, I think the medical letter is sort of unparalleled. And as we've learned from so many doctors, the useful information found inside the medical letter is often directly translated to patients in real life settings in the exam room. At a year, um, the patients with the response of neurostimulator, those patients had a uh, 44% decrease in seizures, and in the two years they had a 53% decrease in seizures. Wow. So I think it is something that we should definitely consider. Information gathered from the medical letter. In fact, Dr. Michelle Bell says she'll often check out the medical letter's website as she's treating patients with epilepsy. I just wanted to be able to provide you with as detailed information as possible so that you can make an informed decision. So if I see a patient who has a neurology problem but also has other medical problems and is taking other drugs for their other medical problems, then the medical letter is also helpful in that setting because I can quickly um, look up the efficacy um, of the other drug and the in indications. Dr. Bell says she trusts the medical letter because of its unbiased review of the latest FDA-approved prescription drugs. We are as clean as clean can be. We really have no biases and I think people are happy to get information about drugs that really, really comes across as, as unbiased and uh, objective. We have to be completely honest. We only take funds from subscribers, so we owe them something. Hundreds of thousands of subscribers in the medical profession, like Dr. Donald Miller, continue to rely on the medical letter for a number of reasons. One of the, the great tools of the medical letter is with every medication, they compare the costs compared to the generics versus the newer, more novel medications that, are, that have been presented. And Dr. Shah agrees. I utilize the medical letter to, to compare the newer drugs that have come out to the older drugs to make everyday decisions about what kind of therapy I'm going to prescribe to my patients. I'm busy, I'm sure many physicians are busy, everybody's busy, and so for me to be able to read this, I feel like I get a great in-depth snapshot that's relevant to my, my practice. The medical letter is proven to be an incredibly useful tool, both in the education setting as well as in the practical use with patients and their diagnoses. In New York City, I'm Danielle Elias.